Chris Bauer here with Bauer Sports Media. Hey, thanks for watching today. I really appreciate that. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I do football, baseball, basketball. I try to be consistent with it. Got a lot going on. Try to get ready for school in the fall and everything like that. Been trying to get a job, which I actually just got one. Uh, I'm excited to be starting it pretty soon. Um, but this news breaking really yesterday, but I'm just now seeing all this, actually. Le'Veon Bell is done in Kansas City. He tweeted out a few tweets yesterday talking about leaving Kansas City. Uh, they all kind of tied together. Um, you know, which I, I guess he had multiple different... It, it was all simultaneous, too. He had basically this, you know, list uh, and list of reasons. He just He just wanted out. You know, he didn't feel like he was being used like he should have. He didn't feel like he was treated fairly. Um, and, uh, you know, he, uh, according to, I was just watching a video too, and I love watching this show, Skip and Shannon. Uh, it, it's just funny just to hear them blabber on and, and, and talk about the stuff going on in sports. According to Skip and Shannon, they both, both basically agreed on uh, the show that they had um, maybe it was today. I, I guess it had to have been this uh, this morning or whatever. Um, they basically said Le'Veon is a great player, but he has basically retired from football, which he hasn't actually retired or anything. He's just a free agent. I mean, he's out of Kansas City. Uh, but who's going to pick him up after those comments? Seriously, here's what he said. He commented, th this was all on Twitter too, and again, you know, character limits and everything, he can't just put words and words and words, so he kind of put it all out there, letting people know how he felt, uh, but at the same time, you know, he kind of broke it up in the tweets. But anyway, this is, this is what Le'Veon Bell had to say. He said, I said what I said, basically referring to the fact that he'll never play for Kansas City, and especially Andy Reid again. Um, he, he said, he'll retire first. He kept going on and on. He said, I'm not about to get into all the depth on why I feel the way I do, but I have the right to the way that I feel. The um, only thing that I would change is commenting on how I feel uh, via on social media. Um, which he's right. Everyone has the right to feel the way that they feel, but there's certain things you should put out there. There's certain things that you shouldn't. And um, th these are his stats from last season. He... Uh, Ultimately got cut, or maybe it was a trade or whatever. Um, I really don't remember how he got from the Jets to Kansas City, but he got over there. Uh, 19 rush, rushing attempts, 74 yards with the Jets early last year. Then he goes to Kansas City. Runs the ball more. 63 attempts, 254 yards, two touchdowns, 13 receptions. Now, that's pretty low. Uh, 13 receptions could be more. 254 yards. Honestly, with the way Kansas City always, always throws the ball... I mean, we're talking Matt Patrick Mahomes. He can air the ball out. Why wouldn't you, right? Uh, 63 attempts. Uh, I'm surprised that it's not just a little bit lower, but he ran the ball 63 times. Again, 254 yards, two touchdowns, 13 receptions. It's too low, right, for a guy like Le'Veon Bell. But being in Kansas City, you got Travis Kelsey over there, Miko Harmon, uh, Sammy Watkins. I mean, you got all those guys, right? Um, He's done in Kansas City. I don't think he's done with his career. I don't think he, like, threw his career away um and he was i don't feel he was being all that harsh um i mean he kind of was i mean he kind of whined a little bit if we're just being realistic here and honest um but he said how he felt about kansas city he literally could have just said bye or whatever instead of just going on on and on and on like a rant um i think it's ridiculous a little bit um again uh, i said what i said uh, never play for Andy Reid in Kansas City. He'd retire. He basically would retire before he go back and play with Andy Reid again if given an opportunity. I mean, so him going back to Kansas City because Andy Reid's not going anywhere anytime soon. You know, he's like uh, he, this guy. Well, I guess maybe Bill Belichick's like the saving of the NFL. But pick another coach out there that's not going anywhere anytime soon from their program. Like I'll admit it, maybe Dabo's not coming to Tuscaloosa. I don't know. He's definitely not now, at least. Not at the moment. He's not ready. He won't be the next coach. He might come sometime, like, towards the end of his career. I don't know. But, but anyways, right, like, Dabo's like a coach at Clemson, right? He's not going anywhere anytime soon. That's like Andy Reid. He's staying with Kansas City. 
If you don't want to play for them, don't play for them. I don't know why. I don't understand why um, players themselves have to tweet all this stuff out. I really don't. Um, you know, we got all the reporters that are, have inside ears and listen in. Um, that's one thing. But he straight up went on Twitter. He's like, I said what I said. I'd retire before I play for Andy Reid again. I'm not going to get into all the details and depth on, on why I feel the way that I feel, but I have the right to feel how I feel, uh, and so on. Um, and again, via Skip and Shannon of Undisputed, love hearing them debate, argue, or whatever. I've been listening to them quite a bit lately. They went on, they went on this and, and said, Le'Veon's great, but he's basically retired. You know, um... I think he's a great running back. I really do. Talented guy. Um, is he going to be picked up by any team after the comments that he's made? Right? I really don't know. I'm not going to doubt it. I'm not going to say, oh yeah, someone's going to pick I don't know. I really have no clue. <sighs> um, I really don't know what to say other than it's just an interesting story right now, what's happening with Le'Veon Bell. He's done in Kansas City, and um, he doesn't want to be back there. And uh, at the very least, uh, doesn't want to play for Andy Reid. You know, he doesn't even... Uh, Le'Veon Bell deserves to be running the football somewhere. At the same time, Patrick Mahomes deserves to be throwing to guys like Travis Kelsey. So when is Le'Veon getting the ball there anyway? If you ask me, he should have never really tried to go to Kansas City, honestly. I feel like maybe he would have fit, fit in better somewhere else. I don't know where, but, I mean, he's a heck of a running back to have and definitely a great weapon that could have made the Chiefs' offense even more better or explosive. I don't know, but I, I don't know. You guys comment down below what you think about this whole story with Le'Veon Bell. Nothing major, just some t Twitter drama about... Him not wanting to play for Andy Reid anymore, and you know, I, I'm sure Andy Reid would feel feels a little. Different. I mean, you can't sit there and say a coach doesn't want a player like Andy, uh, like uh, Le'Veon Bell. I mean, he's got to be sitting there saying, "Well, if you change your mind, you come back and you work hard, we'll put you on." The he's at least got to be saying that, right? I mean, that's probably not going to happen. But let me know where you guys think he ends up next. Let me know if you think he's right for the comments that he put out there on Twitter the other day, uh, yesterday actually, and. Uh, just, uh, yeah, just comment down below what you think. I love you guys. I hope everyone has a blessed week ahead. Check out the website, ballardsports19.wixsite.com. Follow me on Twitter, at Ballard Sports. And uh, please like, comment, and subscribe right here to Ballard Sports Media for more sports content. And until next time, folks, Ballard Sports Media, checking out. I love you guys. Jesus loves you. Keep your head up. God bless, and roll tight. <laughs>